The Bermondsey by-election of the 24th of February, 1983, was brought about by the resignation of Robert Joseph Mellish on the 1st of November, 1982. In a constituency of 51,906 electors, the turnout was 57.7%. Standing to become the Member of Parliament for Bermondsey were two Communist candidates Fran Eden, Revolutionary Communist, 38 votes, 0.1% Robert Gordon, Communist, 50 votes, 0.2% One Independent Conservative and four far-right candidates Alan Baker, United Democratic Party 15 votes, 0.1 percent. Anne King, National Labour Party, 25 votes, 0.1 percent. Michael Kuhlemans, New Britain, 62 votes, 0.2 percent. Dowager Lady Birdwood, Independent Patriot, 69 votes, 0.2 percent. James Smith, National Front. 425 votes, 1.4 percent. Three independent Labour candidates. Esmond Bevan, independent Labour. Eight votes, 0 percent. Barry Giddings, independent Labour. 50 votes, 0.2 percent. John O'Grady, real Bermondsey Labour. 2,243 votes, 7.6%. Three small-scale fringe parties. David Wedgwood, Anti-Common Market and Free Trade, 15 votes, 0.1%. George Hanna, Ecology, 45 votes, 0.2%. David Such, Monster Raving Looney, 97 votes, 0.3 percent. One official conservative candidate, Robert Hughes, 1,631 votes, 5.5 percent. A change of minus 19.4 percent. One official Labour candidate, Peter Tatchell. 7,698 votes, 26.1 percent, a change of minus 37.5 percent. And one Liberal candidate, campaigning as part of the Liberal SDP alliance, precursor to the Liberal Democrats, Simon Hughes. 17,017 votes, 57.7 percent. A change of plus 50.9 percent. The swing from Labour to Liberal was 44.2 percent. Liberal gain from Labour.
Simon Heaps, you are home, 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 homosexual. Will tell you then what, sorry? Bunk Force. Oh, okay. Which was a group of people in the bunk music who supported Tony Ben. <laughs> they also supported me. Nice. It's quite a self explanatory title, isn't it? <laughs> From our research, we heard about um, and found the lyrics of uh, a, a song that John O'Grady sang while campaigning, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever experience it or hear it directly yourself, or was it along the grapevine, sort of? Uh, no, it definitely happened that um, some of my campuses witnessed it, some of the press witnessed it, mm. but I, I was elsewhere in the campaign, so I never heard myself. Family, 
my neighbors and colleagues were subjected to over a year of sustained press harassment. Records of phone calls made by me. The police showed me transcripts of messages left on my voicemail. I was shown a schedule of call data. My mobile number. My account number. The password for my mobile phone account. Everything needed to listen to my voicemail messages at will. But the papers did not stop there. I have 
been spent. Another bullet. How can Fleet Street get away with such exaggeration? And even fabrication a media are much more sensationalist now than ever Most commentators say it was the dirtiest, the dirtiest, the dirtiest, the dirtiest, the dirtiest, violent, 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 violent,
has a political potential. Oh 
could not be a barrier to public life in modern Britain. Oh, 
On the 9th of June, 1983, just four months after the by election, a UK general election was held. For this election, the constituency of Bermondsey was abolished. Standing to become the Member of Parliament for the new constituency of Southwark and Bermondsey were Three far right candidates. Susan McKenzie, Nationalist Party. 50 votes. 
Kevin Mason, New Britain, 154 votes, 0.5%. James Sneath, National Front, 474 votes, 1.4%. One Communist Candidate, Afzal Farag, Revolutionary Communist, 54 votes, 0.2%. One independent candidate, Thomas Keane, 50 votes, 0.2%. One conservative candidate, Robert Hughes, 4,481 votes, 13%. One Labour candidate, John Tilley, 12,021 votes. 34.9% and one liberal candidate Simon Hughes 17,185 votes 49.9% new seat Liberal win, 